Alright guys, it's V-Sing here and welcome to the mid-season recap, the mid-season exchange recap for the CCL, the Combined Championship League. Um, the CCL, if you don't know what it is, is a competitive draft league battling thing. I oh, don't know, it's a battling league that I myself created and I'm running. And we just reached the halfway point and part of the rules for the CCL is halfway through the league we are allowed to swap out three of our Pokemon from our drafts. We can either pick up Pokemon from the free agencies or make trades with other coaches. Um, so this is a video just um, going to go, go, go over what I swapped out and what I picked up and why in that generic stuff. Um, but before I get into all that, make sure you check out all the links in the description. Um, go check out the CCL Twitter because all the updates are there. Go check out the CCL on YouTube because we do content over there as well. Go follow the CCL on Twitch because we actually streamed um, the mid-season exchange uh, yesterday. This will be uploaded on the Sunday. We actually streamed on the Saturday. Uh, it was a nice two or three hour long stream where everyone discussed their picks so if you want to go see us stream and all that stuff go follow us on Twitch and also check out the shop. I don't think I've mentioned the shop yet. We do have a shop. Um, you can go buy merchandise for the Candlelave Car Carnivines and any other team that you like. Um, but yeah, go check out all that. But um, <clears throat> as you probably get into my picks, this probably won't be a long video because I only swapped out three Pokemon, so yeah. Um, but as you can see, the first Pokemon that I had that I wanted rid of, basically, is Zeb Striker. Um, I like Zeb Striker. Um, Zeb Striker is nice. It has Lightning Rod and Sap Sipper. Like the abilities are good. It gets a nice move pool, and obviously the speed stats nice, 116. But the reason I want, I didn't want Zeb Striker is in my book, it's too frail. Like my my play style, I don't really like glass cannons, and I wouldn't even refer to this Pokemon as a glass cannon because it doesn't hit that hard. Um, it's it's kind of just there. <laughs> and that's the reason I didn't like it. I don't like the fact that it's so frail. Like if I put a life orb on this, after one life orb recoil, it pretty much dies to everything. Like it's it's just super frail. So I wasn't a fan of Zeb Striker. So I traded out Zeb Striker and picked up Luxray. Uh electric type for electric type. So, um the reason I like Zeb Striker better than uh, no, the reason I like Luxray better than Zip Striker is it's bulkier. You can see that it does have some decent bulk. Um, you can run uh, physically defensive with Intimidate. Like, that's a nice set that I like. I can run Assault Vest specially defensive. Like, it, it's just it's just bulkier overall. And it actually does hit harder as well. It's got a higher base attack, uh, 120, and it does, if I want to, run uh, Guts. So I could run, like, Toxicorp with, uh, like, uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, Wild Charge and Night Slash, and it gets the Fangs, it gets Quick Attack. If I want to run Priority, it gets Crunch. Uh, yeah, like... <clears throat> It's just a very nice Pokemon. It's fatter than Zeb Strika. It it has a more diverse move pool. It can run it physical or special as well. Um, its special attack is 95, which is nothing terrible. So like Volt Switch, uh, Thunderbolt, uh, Signal Beam, things like that. Like I can run it special. It's also a Phaser. I wanted another Phaser. It does get access to Roar. Uh, so it's just a nice Pokemon. It does get light screen as well, like a lot of electric types. I'm probably never going to run light screen, but you never know. But um, Superpower is also nice to have. It's just a very hard hitting fighting type move. Um, this thing is nice because I wanted something. I wanted a very good answer to offensive flying types. Like there's a Mega Pidgeot in the league that's kind of running wild. Um, Kendra picked up spoilers in her mid season exchange. She picked up Talonflame. Like these Pokemon, like uh, this Pokemon, sorry, Luxury is a very good answer for um, flying types and things like that. It's also kind of in, like if you run the Assault Vest set, it's it's a nice answer to bulky waters as well. Because you can come in, take a Scald, the Guts means the burn doesn't matter, then you blow it back with like a Wild Charge. It's a very nice answer. Um, it's a good answer to uh, Volt Switchers as well, other Volt Switchers. Again, the, Volt, the Assault Vest set will allow you to eat up Volt Switch for days, then fire off like a, 
a wild charge or your own slow volt switch as well, which is nice. And I am a person that prefers slow volt switch over fast volt switch because it gives you a lot of the time initiative, which is another reason I wanted Luxray over Zeb Striker. Um, if you know, um, Slayer drafted my draft because it was his draft, then he had to leave, so I took his draft and he drafted Zeb Striker. And I'm not a fan of using that Pokemon like him. I do, however, have experience using a Luxray. So I would have preferred the Luxray, and I got it now, so yeah, it's time, we better go in. But yeah, it's got Gux and Intimidate, both two very nice abilities, I can run it bulky or offensive. Gives me options, that's something Zebstriker didn't do. Um, but yeah, that was the first Pokemon that I picked up, I picked up Luxray. Secondly, the Clefairy, the Clefairy that 6 would Young Mega Sonic Heroes PvP in the last round. I had to get rid of it, so I traded out the Clefairy, and I picked up Rhydon. <clears throat> Rhydon, I wanted I wanted a rock type. That's something my draft didn't have yet was a rock type, and the reason I wanted a rock type is pretty much the same as a Luxray. I want to deal with flying types better because there are there's the Talonflame, there's a Mega Pidgeot, there's a Star Raptor in the league, uh, there's the Thunderous. Like there's a lot of flying types that I want to deal with, and Rhydon will help me out with that. And if you look at like, Rhydon's stats, even though it's not fully evolved, it has base 120 defense, 130 attack, and 105 HP. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, Rhydon is a savage, and people don't understand this. But I could give it, um, Reckless and run, uh, was it Double Edge? Like, the Reckless Double Edge set is actually very good. Um, obviously, like, the obvious thing people will think is, oh, slap an Eviolite on it, and it will just sit there with max HP max defense and just eat hits like look at this uh... was it bold or impish sorry yeah impish if you take that then what double it like 372 doubled like that's insane defense but i don't know if i'll run the eviolite set that often i do like um... the rindoberry set uh... with uh... rock polish and Sora's Dance, Dual Dance. Like, I want to run the Dual Dance set because, like I said, this thing does have 130 attack and uh, with Rock Polish, let's see, if I run 252 speed, Jolly, that goes up to more or less, uh, hello, uh, blah, 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 what, what does it go up to? Like 392 speed, which is very, very fast. So if I get the rock polish up and I get um, my Sars Dance up and I can just Earthquake and Stone Edge everything, basically. Wait, hello? Oh. Yeah. Like that, that is the plan. Like I wanted something to deal better with flying types. I wanted a bulkier um, ground type as well. Like I do already have a ground type in Needle Queen. But if I want an immunity to Volt Switch, I'm not always forced to bring the Needle Queen now. I do have options with the Rhydon. And Rhydon is insane. It gets ridiculous coverage. Like, you can see it gets Stone Edge. It gets Earthquake. It gets things like um, Aqua Tail. I can run that if I'm going up against someone with, like, I don't know, like a Rhyfury or something. It gets Dragon Tail, so it's another Phaser. Uh, I can run Facade if I'm going against someone that has like a Sableye or a Prankster Mega Bonnet with a will o wisp um, It's a nice Pokemon to have. I have uh, Hammer Arm as well. Uh, it gets Ice Fang. Oh, oh god, what happened there? It gets Ice Fang. It gets... Um, oh, Ice Punch would be better. So uh, it gets Ice Punch. <laughs> um, it gets Fire Punch. Poison Jet for Fairies, I can run Power Up Punch if I really, really wanted to. Also gets Roar, so if a person has a Fairy and I don't want to run Dragon Tail, I can just Roar. Uh, Rock Blast, if I'm expecting someone to sub up. Shadow Claw for pesky Ghost Types. Super Power, uh, Thunder Punch, obviously, did I say it gets Mega Horn? It gets Mega Horn, by the way. Um, it does get Mega Horn, right? Yeah, of course it gets Mega Horn. It gets Mega Horn and Outrage if I want to be that guy. Like, its move pool is ridiculous. Yo, I'm gonna run, um, Surf, Ride On. It's time. Um, but yeah, I like the Dual Dance set. I like the offensive presence this thing brings and the bulk. So it's, again, a very nice overall Pokemon. So that was the second Pokemon I picked up. I swapped out Clefairy and I picked up Ride On. <clears throat> now, for my last trade, it's not actually a free agency trade. I contacted the head coach of the Las Vegas Victinis, Patchy Patchy YT, my good friend Zach. And I offered him the trade of my Kecleon for his Gramble, and he graciously accepted. So, 
Kecleon, the one Pokemon that is sat on my bench the, whole, the entire league, I've not used him once, is gone. Um, I traded him out and picked up Gramble. Obviously, with me trading away the Clefairy, I didn't have a fairy anymore and I wanted a better fairy anyway and I looked through the free agency and it was honestly nothing left other than Whimsicott and I, I wasn't trying to get a Whimsicott. So I traded out the Clefairy after I knew that I would secure a Gramble. So Gramble is a savage. It's one of the better fairy types in the format so I can run like Choice Band with Intimidate. Then look at the, like because this thing used to be um, a normal type it gets ridiculous coverage so like Body Slam. Uh, close combat, uh, earthquake, fire punch. Uh, it gets it gets um, ice punch, low kick, outrage. Obviously, stab, play rough, hits really hard. Power up punch. I guess reflect if I want to be that guy, but I don't want to be that guy. Rock slide, uh, stone edge, super fang is really nice. I want to run the bulky set. Like it's just it's it gets wild charge. It's just a ridiculous Pokemon. Um, so it can be offensive. I know it's only got base 45 speed. Uh, it does get quick feet, so like I don't know if I'm facing up against a particularly slow draft, I could try and run the quick feet set. But eh, I'll more than likely always run intimidate. Um, but there is the offensive set, but there's also the bulky set. Um, I can make it uh, max HP, max defense. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh no, not not no, not not jolly, impish, because it's got decent defense, it's got decent HP. And you can run like it's a cleric. It gets heal bell. So something else I wanted was a better cleric. So it gets heal bell. It gets super fang as well. So like, say I'm up against a mega agron, and I super fang it. It takes away half its health. So like, yeah. Um, <laughs> I believe does it get drain punch? It doesn't get drain punch. Um, but yeah, you can run the bulky set with play rough, super fang, uh, heal bell. In a coverage move, like, I don't know, like low kick or something, or I don't know. But, um, <clears throat> it's just very, it's very fat. It's very, it's hard hitting as well. Fairy typing is nice, and it's, it's more versatile than the Clefairy as well. Again, versatility is key, and key, key in a draft league format, so yeah. Um, but those are my three Pokemon that I picked up. So I picked up Luxray. Rhydon and Gramble. Um, I'm very happy with what I got, but if you guys don't agree, leave down in the comments down below like something else I could have picked up or should have picked up or your thoughts on what I did pick up. So like Zeb Striker is gone. I no longer have a Zeb Striker. Clefairy is gone, sadly. And Kecleon is gone, sadly. So I have Luxray, Rhydon, and Gramble in my team now. So yeah, I'll leave your thoughts on those in the comments below. Make sure you check out the CCL on Twitter, YouTube, Twitch. Check out the shop on Spreadshirt. Um, follow me on Twitter for updates regarding the CCL and my channel in general. So if you enjoyed, guys, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in two weeks for my round 8 battle. And I will see you then. So goodbye, everyone.